Have you ever broke someone's heart? Have you ever broken up with somebody? Well, I'm not talking about like dating. I mean, you're professional, you're stylist, you're barber. Have you ever, ever, ever ended the relationship? Well, let me tell you, <laughs> after working on thousands of clients throughout my career, and you know, I've created so many close relationships with these people, <laughs> I'm going I'm to explain this to you from the professional side of things and the consumer slash client perspective. Now, as a professional, we, right, people in the salon, beauty, barbering, we're in a service industry and we are very emotional individuals. Many people could be whack jobs, okay? Uh, but make a long story short, we are all very, very, very emotional people. So with our clients, Okay, our clients have shared information with us, and if you're a client watching this, yes, <laughs> you've spilled the beans many times on things that you would never tell anyone else except for your, your stylist or your barber, whoever uh, professional you're going to. But, you know, we have very, very close relationships, sometimes intimate relationships, sometimes people end up dating, getting married, whatever it is, there's a close relationship, a close bond, a trust factor between professional and client. And we get very possessive, very emotional. For example, if one of our clients, you walk into the salon one day and you see another one of your clients in someone else's chair, and if you're a professional and you know the panic attack that you're about to have, and you do have, let me know in the comments below, but we are like, what? is going on. What are you doing? You're a traitor. Get out. You know, you just, you, you get so hurt. But then it could be, oh, I had to come in early because you start at 12 and I had to get out of here by like 11. Sorry, dude. You know, then it's like, oh, okay. Then the stylist runs over. It's okay. It's okay. You know, we used your formula and everything's fine. Oh, don't worry about it. And then all of a sudden it's out. Like, You're trying to steal my client, but you know, it just gets so crazy and ridiculous. So, <laughs> Please, uh, you know, if you're a stylist, or uh, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you're a barber, you know exactly what you're talking about. It could be hurtful. It's like getting cheated on. And sometimes that will be used as a joke. Oh, Steven, you know, sorry, I had to cheat on you last time. You were on vacation, but I'm back. You know, it's like, it's, it's, all, it's all fun and games. You know what I mean? But anyway, we get very possessive. We get very uh, close, excuse me, and emotional oh my gosh, with our clients, and that is why, you know, we act how we act. So, this goes two ways. If you're a professional and you need to end the relationship with your customer, with your client, you simply can do it two ways, by having the receptionist call them up if you want to take no part in it whatsoever, and there's always the risk of them coming into the salon to curse you out, to tell you off, to tell you how awful you are, there's always that risk. But you could also have, you know, the receptionist call them and just say, you know, unfortunately, you know, Stephen is, um, f feels that you may be better off with another stylist because, you know, we're not seeing, eye you're not seeing eye to eye. He's tried many times. He feels like you may be better off in someone's hand, someone else's hands to get better results. And that's off of his professional expertise. He still thinks, you know, likes you, you're awesome, but he wants you to get a better experience, so he told me to call you to suggest another stylist who has this opening this time. As long as they handle it professionally, you know, the client may say like, oh, you pushed me off on somebody, you know, then, then it becomes a joke and then you're done with them, that's it. You know, it, and, and that's, that's how it goes. You are totally allowed to fire your clients, to end the relationship with them because you just can't take it anymore. And trust me, I've blacklisted many people, okay? So, now on the flip side, if you're a client, there's one of two ways you can end the relationship. Literally, cancel your appointment that you had, never ever quote, call them for an appointment again. Never go, step foot in that place. N don't even reach out, nothing, okay? That's one way of doing it, which I've had happen to me numerous, numerous, dozens and dozens of times. We all have. And you're, then you start guessing, like, where's so-and-so? I haven't seen him in months. I haven't seen her in months. What's going on? Then eventually, eight months down the road, you're like, oh, I guess they left me, you know? And then you get that random phone call from them, you know, uh, 
two years later, hey, can you fix my hair? I'm like, wait, you left me, man, remember? Like, so that happens. If you're a client, just, you know, we know what, what's up with that, so <laughs> we don't appreciate that all the time. However, you know, what you can do is you can literally just also call up the salon, ask to speak to the person, hey, you know, Steven, you've been my guy for you know, a number of years now. Um, unfortunately, I'm just not getting the results I'm looking for. I know we've tried a couple of things. I don't know, it's just I feel like I need to try somebody else at this point. If you came at us with respect and let us know, especially if like, we've known you for 10 years, 12 years, 15 years, one year, whatever it is, and we know like, more secrets about you than your entire family does, you should at least show some respect to let us know like, hey man, because what's gonna happen is we are going to lose sleep over it. Like I mentioned, we're emotional whack jobs. We are going to lose sleep over it, saying, what happened to so-and-so? What happened to so-and-so? Then you start investigating, you become the FBI, you start questioning this one. You put them in a corner. Have you seen Mary? I haven't seen Mary in two months. Have you seen Mary? You know, you, you just start to like go crazy and you start to, you, you're trying to investigate where the heck that person went. All you should do is just please let us know out of respect so we're not in like an anxiety-driven panic attack 24-7 trying to figure out where the heck you went, okay? So, let me know in the comments below if you, you know, which side of the fence you're on, if you're the client and you've, you know, how you break up with the professional, if you're a professional, if you can relate to what I'm saying. I feel like I just gave birth after all this. Oh, God. Anyway, <laughs> let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.